Coach Kim ready to give you a great 25 minute cardio workout for the mature adult and beginner. So get that heart ready and let's go. A healthy heart's a happy heart. So let's get ready to work it. Remember, we can do high levels. You can have low levels. I want you to do what works for you. So for right now, we're just gonna march. So I want you to march in place nice and easy. Notice how I'm bringing my leg up at a 90 degree. Now, anytime you use large muscles like we're doing here, the large muscles meaning the legs, the glutes, which is your butt, you're gonna be working that heart. So I want you to get moving. And it's so important. Just because you can't flex this muscle doesn't mean it's not important. You know it's the most important muscle in your body. It's good for that brain, for the blood flow. So I'd like you to pump the arms too. Keep the hands open. Oh, just kind of do what feels natural. Good. Now, I want you to do about 10 more seconds right here, marching in place. Now, some of you need to march a little bit less intensity. That's fine. The higher up, we're working the balance. Good, get in the heart. And that's three and two and one. Good, I'd like you to put your feet wide. Both toes are facing forward, head forward. And I want you to notice I'm doing a lateral shift to a punch. My head is forward, one leg is straight, one leg is bent. You can just mirror and do exactly what I'm doing right here. You're gonna feel that in the heart. Some of you are going, wow, Coach Kim, I feel this in my inner thighs. My legs, good, that's what I'm looking for. So remember to breathe. Did you have a healthy breakfast this morning or maybe you're doing it at night? Did you have a healthy meals all day? Did you drink lots of water? That's important for our bodies too. So keep moving, excellent. You're gonna hear me say it over and over again. Movement is medicine, motion is lotion. You wanna age well, you wanna feel good and have energy and less stress, you just hang out with me. We're gonna get there. Good, let's get 10 more seconds. If you have to stop at any time, you need to do that. Listen to your body. If you're too winded, ah, oh, you need to stop or dizzy, then do that and rest, good. Now we're gonna do what's called a little butt kicker. Yeah, we all need a good butt kick once in a while. So I want you to just lift up one foot and it's like you're giving your a nice little butt kick. We'll go ahead and pump the arms. And this is really good for the back of the legs too. You can feel it in the hamstrings. It's good to get things moving. You notice all of our joints feel better when we move. Pump the arms naturally. I don't want you in a clenched fist. We don't need any stress and tension. We're not in a boxing match here. So just open up, at least not today, right? So keep moving. Good, nice little butt kick. Now some of you just have to do a little butt kick and that's fine too. Again, you're gonna hear me repeat it. Do what works for you. The fact that you got up and you're moving, that's a great thing. That's what I'm saying. I give you an A++ extra credit for that. Keep going. You know, Eleanor Roosevelt has a great quote, with a new day comes new strength and new thoughts. So put that in your hat. We got 10 more seconds. Good, that's five, four, three, two, one, good. Now a functional movement we're gonna do is called a squat, but I am gonna integrate some arm movements as well. If you could put your feet shoulder width, toes facing forward, weight back heavy on the heels. I want your hands with your palms in facing towards your cheeks or your ears. You're gonna get your butt down and then you're gonna breathe out and push up. Now some of you are going, uh-uh, my knees are a little cranky. Just do a little partial squat and press. The rest of you that have healthy knees, you can go all the way down. This is gonna get the heart pumping. It's also working, again, those legs, the shoulders, and that most important muscle, your heart. Go ahead. You're doing a super job. Ah, some of you have to build up to doing this. Again, maybe just do half the workout to start or half the reps, and then you can stop and do it again at another time. And every time you do this, you're gonna get stronger and more fit. Perfect. Keep going. 150 minutes a week, of cardiovascular exercise is recommended. This counts, we're working the heart. Swimming is a wonderful exercise. Biking, walking, good. Let's get a couple more. One and two, very nice. All right, step side to side, side to side. This is just a basic step touch. Picking up the feet, excellent. Now I want you to put your palms facing back behind you. Your arms are extended out straight and we're gonna just do a nice little push at the same time we're stepping. What's the advantage of this? Oh, besides moving your feet, which is good for balance and coordination in your heart, we're working the back of your arms. 
you get an extra bonus right here. But keep those arms straight. We're stretching the top of the shoulder as well. Keep stepping, keep stepping. And the faster you go, the more you're gonna get that heart rate up. We're all in different shape. You know what, we're all different shape sizes. It doesn't matter to me. The fact is, you have this beautiful body to work with, or maybe this handsome body to work with, whatever it might be, you, at least you have that body, and we're able to do what we can do, and be grateful for that, that's great. Keep going, we've got about 10 more seconds. Pick those feet up, pick them up. Good, a couple more seconds. And rest, good, let's shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. I want you to just do a nice little easy march. Notice how my knees aren't as high as they were before. Good, so now I want you to put your arms up, okay? Put them up, take your opposite hand to opposite heel, good. Notice how my arms, palms are facing down. Good for coordination here. Whoo, keep going. We're working the heart, you're working your brain. Did you know that? Working your brain is so important. Mm-hmm. Just think, it's almost like you're doing a crossword puzzle right here. It felt not even better because that blood flow is moving. Keep going. Love it. Let's get 10 more seconds. It's the most transformative thing you can do for your brain is exercise. Did you know that? Oh, you throw in a healthy diet, some healthy thoughts. You're gonna to live to be 110 years old. All right, now shake it out, shake it out. So we just did those little hopscotches in front. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but behind, so it's a little bit tougher. So same position with your hands. Take your opposite hand and touch behind. Behind, yes, if you can touch the heel, that's great. Some people are limited and you have to do this, that's fine too. Never criticize yourself, ever, ever, I don't wanna hear it. When you look in that mirror, you need to focus and be positive about your body and everything about you. So stop with those critical remarks about bat wings or big butts. Mm -mm, we don't talk about things like that. We need to be happy and grateful for all of our, our body allows us to do. Whew, keep going. Uh-huh. Five more seconds. I'm starting to sweat. How about you? Keep going. And that's three, two, and one, good, let's shake it out, shake it up. Good, let's go back side to side. Nice little step touch, step touch, step touch, step touch. Now, I want your palms up. Now, last time we focused on a little bit of the, the back of the arms, now we're gonna focus on the front. Stand tall right here. What I'd like you to do is you're gonna come up, down. Alternate the legs up. Notice how I'm lifting my arms at the same time. So squeeze the bicep, lift the leg. If you can get that leg up at a 90 degree, good for you. How's your balance right now? Mm-hmm. That's something that doesn't get better as we age. So it's really important to do things like this, to move. As a matter of fact, I encourage people, when you brush your teeth at night, why don't you stand on one leg the whole time? And then in the morning when you get up to brush again, why don't you stand on the other leg the whole time? When you're standing in a line at the store, or maybe you're a I don't know, somewhere waiting in line anywhere. Why don't you stand on one foot? Focus on that balance. Keep going. Yes, and this is, if you're able to do this, this means you have good balance. Let's get 10 more seconds. Good, keep going. Working the top of the arms, working the legs, working that heart. Love, love, love. You know who loves it? Every cell in your body is so excited right now. It's going, woohoo! if it was a dog, its tail would be wagging those little cells. Keep going because they're happy. That's three, two, and one. Good, shake, 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 shake. Good, now the next one we're gonna do is work a little bit of shoulders. I'd like you to do a little heel kick, heel kick. Bring your arms up. Notice how my arms are bent slightly. My palms are open, my palms are facing down actually, my hands are open. Keep going, elbows, elbows are high and parallel to the floor. Good, keep going, yes. Whew. Keep going, you've got that healthy heart going on. 10 more seconds. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Get a little thirsty there. I want you to be able to drink lots of water today. Keep going. How do you know you're drinking enough water? Well, make sure that your urine is either pale yellow or clear. Don't wait to be thirsty to drink. Good, all right, shake that up and down. Shake it up and down. Beautiful, take your head, roll it back and forth. 
back and forth the other way. Let that heart rate come down a little bit. Perfect. Open and close the arms for me. Open and close. <sighs> Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. <sighs> One more. Breathe in everything that's driving you nuts in your life and then breathe out <sighs> leave it here all right keep marching those feet march 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 Whew. doesn't it feel good to move you got to admit you guys please admit that you always always feel better after a workout do you know why because you have stuff going on in your brain there's serotonin the endorphins the noradrenaline the good stuff is going on and i promise you after every workout you do you will feel better all right, we're moving into what's called a V-step, and I'm going to have you take your left foot lead, left foot lead, or you can just mirror me from where you see me, which would be your right foot. So you're going to step, step, left, back, step, step, and just mirror what I'm doing. I'm making a V formation. Here we go. Step, step, pump the arms, step, step, V-step, good, working those legs, keep going, a little bit of inner thigh, you got your top of your legs going little hamstrings, and you know what? It's kind of fun, isn't it? You feel like you're dancing. Keep going, side, side. Whoo, you remember back in the, or maybe, I don't know, I remember back in the early 90s, I used to teach country dancing. Does anybody know how to country dance? Oh, we could have make that a whole nother time for you. That's really a lot of fun. Keep going. We've got about three more, V-step. Now remember, we're doing one leg lead. You're mirroring me, that's your right leg. I'm using my left. Let's get one more. Good, and stop. March, march, march. Good. Now we're going to go lead with the other leg. I'm using my right. If you're mirroring me, you'll lose your left. Use your left. Good. V step, 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 back, back, step, step, back. Whoo, how's that butt feeling? Feels good. And we don't get a nice butt by sitting on it. Nope, we got to move it. Whoo, you ever heard that saying, sitting is the new smoking? There's a lot of truth to that. Keep going. And the more you sink down low, the harder the exercise. Keep going. And you know what? Pick the tempo that works for you. I know I'm being pretty vigorous, so you can always go at a slower pace if that works better for you. We're all in different shape. You're in your living room or wherever you might be doing this. You know what? Who cares what other people think? <laughs> You're doing this. You could be in your pajamas doing this. We don't care. Keep going. You've got two more. Step and step. March, march, march. Good. Keep marching. Now, I want you to do what's called high knees. What I'd like you to do is put those hands up. Woohoo! Yes! Put those hands up. You're going to take your hands down, and I'd like you to pat those knees. Notice how my legs are up at a 90 degree. If you need to slow down, do it. We're not competing with anybody. And I don't want you to say, oh, but 20 years ago I was able to do this. Mm -mm. We are in the now, and it's a beautiful now. So we're not looking at the past. We're not looking at the future. We are in this beautiful present moment. Good. How's that heart going? Keep going. Now, moving the hands above the head, this is intensifying. Anytime you get arms up, you keep moving, you're burning more calories. It's making it harder. So if it's too intense, you can always take the hands out of it. Okay, you want a little more intensity? We add hands, good. Keep going. So the whole object of here is we're working that heart and working that heart keeps us healthier, helps us live longer, feel better, sleep better. I could go on and on and on. Keep going. What's your why? Why did you show up today? We all have a why. Keep going and that's five, four, three, two, and one, good. I'd like you to do a little hip roll out. Hip roll, hip roll. So I'm going from in to out. Roll the hip, roll the hip, roll, roll. I'm going from in to out. Couple more, good. March, march. Now we're gonna do the reverse of that. So take your outer leg, bring it in. You're going out from in. Whoo, now some of you need to hold on to a chair. I want you to help yourself to that. Sometimes we need that little bit of help holding onto a chair in case you're losing your balance. That's fine. Keep going. Woo, a couple more and march. Now, the, the reason I did those internal and external rotation of the hips, you know, the hips is something that needs to be worked too. Get that blood flow going. Go ahead. Okay, get those legs up higher, 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 higher. Perfect, keep going. Feet wide, shift 
and punch. Shift and punch. Notice how one leg is straight. One leg is bent. Both feet are facing forward. Pushing out like you're saying no. No to the sugar. No to the junk food. No to the soda. Right there. Good. Excellent. All right, big circles. Big circles. Reverse those circles. Reverse those circles. Ah, shake it out. And let's start marching. So pump in the arms. Get those knees nice and high. Good, we're gonna do a move called a grapevine. So I'm gonna be going to the right. You're gonna follow me with your left. So just mirror what I'm doing. Take one leg, step behind, step, tap, step behind. Now we're gonna pick up our tempo. Step behind, step, tap. You can even add a little clap in there to make some fun. And step, good, keep moving. We're getting that heart going. Keep moving, picking up that pace. Good. We're going to get a couple more here. Then we're going to add a little bit extra. I'd like you to add a hip. One, two, three. Pick up that leg. Good. So just mirror what I'm doing here. Pick up the leg. We're getting the hip involved. Moving that body. And a healthy heart's a happy heart. Let's keep moving. Woo! You're doing a great job. Oh, excellent. Keep moving. Remember to breathe. Never hold your breath. Up, two, three, good. Let's get a couple more. One more grapevine with a hip and march. Excellent job, everybody. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our arms and move our legs at the same time. This is great because you burn extra calories, gets that heart moving a little more, and it's fun. So I'd like you to lift that leg out, pick your opposite arm. So if I'm kicking with my right, you're kicking with your left, and the opposite arm goes out. Good, add a little dip. A little dip, <laughs> a little dip, and kick, good. Keep going, kick it out. Your body's gonna just intuitively and naturally know what to do. And the more you do this, the easier it's gonna get for you. So keep kicking. I know my heart's ticking. How about yours? And your heart's just like any other muscle. Remember, the more you work it, stronger it's gonna get. And I want you to be the person that always takes the stairs. Always park far away. Return someone else's grocery cart to get those extra steps in. And you're doing something nice for somebody. Good, let's march in place. Beautiful job. Also, next time you go to the airport, instead of taking that people mover, that moving sidewalk, be that person that gets the extra steps. So only time we take those people movers is when you're gonna miss a flight. Good. I'd like you to put your hands above the head. You're gonna take, I'm gonna bring my right elbow, it's your left elbow, down to the same leg. Excellent. So picking it up, you're activating the hip. You're getting those hands, the shoulders involved. Beautiful. Ah, you're doing a great job here. This also works on balance. And balance is just like anything else. The more you work it, the easier it's gonna get. Now, if some of you are struggling with balance. Remember, you can take the arms out of it. You can always hold on to a wall or a chair on the side. That will help accommodate that. So let's add those arms. Again, adding the arms makes it more intense. And intensity gets results. Why did you show up today? Think about your why. Is it because you want more energy? You want less aches and pains? Do you want to age well? Good, keep going. Let's get a few more and march in place. March, pump the arms. Notice how my hands are open. I'm breathing in my nose, out my mouth. Good, now let's do a step touch, step touch. Step touch. So moving the arms. Notice how I'm threading them back and forth. Good. Back and forth across my body. Keep going and keep moving. Love it. You can do this. You could be, you know, a good song comes on when you're cooking in the kitchen. Move. You're going to burn those extra calories. I call them productive calories, you know, when you vacuum, when you mop, when you dust. Those are all extra calories. Good. A couple more. And march, march. Good, we're gonna do a nice little high knee. So high knees, high knees, high knees. Good, pump the arms. High knees. Perfect, some of you might wanna add a little hop, more advanced, that's fine. Or just settle it down and take it down to more low impact. Excellent job, keep going. Let's get a couple more. Mm-hmm, I can, I can hear your heart singing happy songs right now. Keep going. And march, march, 
Good, good. Now, feet shoulder width. We're gonna go down and we're gonna go up on those toes. Down and up. If it's too intense, you can take the arms out of it. Otherwise, down and up. Put your weight heavy on the heels. You can just go partial down if your knees hurt. Let's get one more, one more, and breathe. And out through the mouth. Let's get one more. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. All right, let's start marching in place. Now, what I'd like you to do, if you have a chair handy, those of you that might, your knees might be a little bit, eh, not 100%. You know, sometimes our warranty starts to run out as we age. So if you need to have this nearby for the next few exercises we're gonna do, that'd be great. But for this first one, what I'd like you to do, we're gonna do what's called a curtsy lunge. And the reason I'm choosing this for your cardio section, it's gonna get your heart rate up. So hold on to that chair. You're gonna come back like a little curtsy and then come back up. Holding onto the chair makes this a lot easier. So those of you that are more advanced, you don't need a chair. You can even hold a little weight in your hand. You got a grandbaby or a little great grandbaby right here would be perfect. So hold on. A little and also you don't have to dip as far if your knees are super cranky just do a little step right here so you're gonna go back and up good this is gonna get the heart rate elevated why because you're using large muscle groups keep going hands are just for counterbalance hold it right here again that chair eases up a lot when you hold on to that chair let's get a couple more for fun here down and beautiful let's go ahead and march it out so I'd like you to take your right foot back. And now we're gonna do a little speed skater. Speed skater looks like this. Notice how I'm not touching. Back, back. Some of you need to touch for balance, that's fine. Keep moving. Speed skater. When's the last time you went skating? I love to skate. Hmm, you know, I did break a couple of my teeth when I was a kid, but that's okay. I still had a good time. I hit a pole, get back up, go to the dentist, and I'm good to go. Keep going, and I'm still rollerblading and loving it. So keep going. I know my husband says, you know, you gotta watch some of these activities you do. Coach Kim, it's, well, he doesn't call me Coach Kim, but you know, he says, your knees, things are gonna hurt you, but you know what, I feel good and I'm gonna do it as long as I can. And some of you guys are probably thinking the same thing as my husband. You know what, yes, if you have knee issues, I want you to listen to it. So I'm very grateful I don't have issues, and hopefully um, I intend not to. So holding onto that chair, what you're gonna do is a little lunge back with one leg, hike the hip up at a 90 degree. So I'm using my right leg. If you're mirroring me, you're using your left leg. Again, holding on helps tremendously. Both feet are facing forward like railroad tracks down. I really encourage, if you're new to this, please use that chair. It takes the load off. Bad knees, what I'd like you to do, you can just step back and then hike the hip. Step back, hike the hip. Good, we all have different shapes sizes, different joints, different genetics. You know what? You just do what works for you. That's a thumbs up from me. Good, now we're gonna switch sides. Both feet facing forward. By the way, how's that heart? You're getting some cardio in, aren't you? <sighs> Keep going. Yes. And that's the whole point of our cardio here is to get that heart rate up. Good. Keep going, and it's very, Important, 150 minutes a week, I've told you. Minimum guidelines, more is better of cardiovascular disease. And mix it up, swimming, biking, doing this cardio on this app or this YouTube, whatever you're watching, back up. It all counts, as long as you do at least a 10 minute bout at one time. So it's good to get winded. You wanna burn fat? <laughs> you're doing the right thing right here. Get a little winded, lift a little weights, and make sure you eat healthy. Let's get two more, one more and pump those feet good shake it out very nice good open the arms and pump the arms keep going good now what i'm going to have you do is you're going to take your hands up above your head and i'm going to have you take one elbow to knee elbow to knee pull the arms down yes whoo lift the knee up notice how it's out to the side i'm not here i'm out to the side good keep going let's get a couple more Oh, you're getting more and more fit. So every time you do this, you're gonna get a little stronger. And these are putting these little deposits in your health bank. This is like your health accounts, like your bank account. The more you put in, the more you'll be able to take out when you need it. Two more, step, step, good. And let's start marching. March, march, march. Good, 
We're gonna end with squats to calf raise. So I'd like your feet shoulder width, hold on if you need to. Squat to calf raise. Again, advanced, don't hold on to anything. You need help, go up on those calves. You've got two more reps. Up on the toes, down and up. Whew. How's that heart rate? Can you feel it? Go ahead, put your hand on the carotid artery or the thumb side of your wrist. You feel that ticking? Good, that's what we're looking for. Knees soft, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's get one more. Breathe in and breathe out. Roll the shoulders back. Put that smile, because I've got one, and I'm grateful you joined me today. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed your cardio workout. Healthy hearts, a happy heart. Remember to always consult with your physician before any exercise program. Thank you for joining.